Once again, we're staying in our modifyingobjects.dwg file. We're going to have a little look now at how we rotate and scale objects in our AutoCAD drawings. And we're going to look at a couple of methods of rotating and scaling that basically make sure that you set up your work area with your desks and your chairs effectively. So we're going to look at the rotate command first. Now, you'll notice that the desks, the handles for the drawers, are on the lower side of the desks, which means the chairs are facing the wrong way. Or, more importantly, the desks are facing the wrong way. What we're going to do is we're going to rotate the desks around so that they are underneath the chairs in the plan view, and the chair is then facing the desk in the correct way. So let's look at our first desk here, like so. Again, I can select it. I can then right click, and you'll see that rotate is on the shortcut menu. I can hit escape there. I can also rotate up here on the modify panel, select the desk itself, press enter to confirm the selection, and it prompts me for the base point as well. It's up to you which workflow you use. I prefer the right click and the shortcut menu on the mouse. So I'm going to select my desk, right click and select rotate. It will then prompt me for a base point. The base point we're going to use is quite definite. It's this one here. It's the midpoint on the back of the seating part of the chair. So I left click. And can you see now, as I drag the mouse, it's rotating. The rotation angle is 180 degrees because we're bringing it round by 180. It doesn't matter whether it's negative 180 degrees or positive 180 degrees. It'll have the same effect. Press Enter, and you can see now that our desk is beautifully positioned with the chair facing the right way. So that's one way of rotating our desk around our chair. There's another way as well. If we come down to the status bar, make sure that our polar tracking is switched on. And then click on the fly out here and set it to 90 degree increments like so. So our polar tracking now will allow us to move in 90 degree increments. There's a reason why I've set it to 90, which will make life a lot easier for you. Let me show you. I select the desk again like so and I right click and go to rotate. Again, you can use the modify panel if you wish. It prompts me for a base point, so I'm gonna use the same base point. It's that little midpoint in there on the back of the seat part of the chair. So get that midpoint snap there and left click. Now, I don't have to specify an angle. I can just rotate the mouse. And can you see when I lock into a particular 90 degree increment, in this case, you can see it's gone round by 180 degrees. I just left click and it places it like so. I don't have to put the angle in. I can do it visually with my 90 degree angle increments. Quite useful. But as you can see now, our desks and our chairs are orientated perfectly in our work area. I'm going to zoom out slightly now using the wheel of the mouse and pan across a little bit. And you'll notice we've got a plant down here. I want to put that plant up here in the work area just to make the work area a little bit more comfortable to work in. So I click on the plant and it's a block. So I can just click on that grip in the center and just drag it up here to the bottom left corner of the work area. Hit escape a couple of times to deselect, pan and zoom in so that we've got it nice and central so that we can see what's going on. Now I'm going to utilize the scale command. I want this to be a bit bigger. It's a little bit small and insignificant at the moment. So let's select our plant. And again, I can right click and you'll notice that scale is also on the shortcut menu using the mouse. I can also go up here. You'll see that scale is available on the modify panel. So with the plant selected, I click on scale. And again, it will prompt me for a base point as if I was using the shortcut on the mouse as well. So let's just hit escape a couple of times, select the plant again, and I right click and I use scale, which is my preferred method. So I click on scale. It'll prompt me for a base point, just like things like move, copy, and rotate have done. And I'm going to select a point just dead center. It doesn't have to be exact, but you can go right in and pick an object snap if you wish, like so. Now it'll ask me for a scale factor. And as I come out and just roll back on the wheel, can you see as I move the mouse, I can do it visually, or I can specify a scale factor. 
I'm going to use 1.75, one and three quarters bigger. When I press enter, you can see it's a bit bigger now in the drawing area. If I roll back on the wheel a few notches, I want to place this over here by the window. Now be careful because there are some doors here as well. You don't want to block the doors. So ideally this corner here would be a perfect position for the plant. It gets the light through the windows. So I click on the block, click on the grip, place it over here just to give the office a bit more of a area of greenery, let's say. I hit escape a couple of times and my plant is placed in the work area in the drawing. So you can see there how you can utilize the rotate command and the scale command in different ways in AutoCAD to refine your drawing and modify your objects.